and welcome to the Super Fun Awesome Mavic 9 Pedal Show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome. I'm Alex, and we've got the new DD200 from Boss today. This is the new 200 series delay from their brand new series. Yes. A uh, big thank you to Ed and everyone at Roland Boss Australia for sending the entire 200 series out. Mm. And I'm just going to say now, you can watch uh, another video of ours about a 200 series product by Boss here. Wow. Not sure which one yet, but it'll be one. What a, what a, what a salesman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the 200 series, it is basically their, um, Boss used to have the 20 series, dual pedals, there's a slicer, slicer there, um, and it had a delay, they had a DD20 as well, and, and all that sort of stuff, and they kind of shrunkified it, that's the term, uh, so this is a standard Boss pedal, if you want to put it next to it, um, so the thing that struck me when I first opened these boxes up is how small they are, so I think really if you put it there, Happy if you thing. imagine having side jacks, yeah. Um, and that's being top mounted. Uh, it takes roughly the same amount of real estate on your pedal board. Mm. Uh, stereo in, stereo out. You've got an expression pedal as well. We're not doing an expression pedal today. We're just doing a quick run through as quick as it, as you can have it with, I don't know how many sounds, Actually. but we're just going to quickly run it, look at all the, all the sounds. Let us know in the comments below if you want us to do anything in particular with it or mm. pair it up with something else. Uh, but there's tons of stuff you could do. You also have MIDI on the side. You need a TRS to MIDI converter. And it's a USB to update firmwares and stuff like that. Cool. Hey, before we go on, <coughs> if you hit like and subscribe on this uh, video and the channel, thumbs up's always appreciated, and hit notification bell, and we'll send you a message next time we have a video up. And that's pretty much it for formalities. So we're going to the clean tone. It is stereo, like I said, and it's going into the Apollo, which has a UAD Marshall Plexi type sound. And uh, listen to it with headphones on or through good speakers so you can get the full stereo effect. Like get two iPhones and pull like that. Yes. Yep. yes. Turn one on just a split second after the other. Yeah, like 400 milliseconds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is clean time. Okay, so let's start off with uh, pretty much everything roughly at 12 o'clock. Um, oh, I should quickly say, so you've got um, time, feedback, and level knob. Uh, they always kind of do the same thing. Uh, the level on pretty much all of them, it goes from completely dry to sort of 50 50 wet and dry. Some you can go completely wet, um, not all of them. Uh, you have the rotary encoder here, which goes to all the, through all the different sounds. You've got a tone and a modulation, which is basically the tone and modulation on all of them. And then you have a parameter knob. So the parameter knob will do different things depending on what delay you've selected. Mm. Uh, and I've got my iPad here, so I can tell you exactly what it does. But right now, we're starting with everything at 12 o'clock. Uh, this button is currently set to the tap function. You've got different tap divisions here as well. So let's go just coordinates. Coordinates, okay. Yeah. Uh, so you've got you've got half, just quarter, and eighth, and then you've got triplets for each and dotted for eighth, for e all of them. Um, and this is the tap function at the moment. You can also be holding it in you go to what's called a memory mode where you can then go between ma manual setting, which means whatever all the knobs are set to, to preset one, two, three, or four. Uh, you can also do that by pushing that button. But if you want to do it while you're playing, you can just do it by holding that in. There's also a looper if you hold both of those in uh, at the same time. If we get time to do it, we'll run through a little bit through the looper as well. Pretty sure you know what a looper does. Let's start off with the standard delay. So this is standard digital delay, everything at roughly 12 o'clock. Cool. Uh, we just had the clean sound and it sounds actually. So what the parameter knob, knob does in this particular case is it, it changes the attack of the delay. So it kind of ramps the, instead of the, when you play something, it plays exactly the same thing back, it kind of ramps the sound. Very soft transient. So if you just play something quick, just one strum, and you can adjust how much you want of that. Gets that really pulsing sort of like 
And especially because you've got a tone and modulation for all of them. And actually, it's, it's quickly showed a modulation. You can get quite wacky with it. Yeah, it's cool, eh? Yeah. So uh, that's a standard digital delay. But yeah, I, I think having a tone and modulation on all of them yeah. is kind of cool. Okay, cool. So uh, let's, we're just, like I said, we're just quickly going through all this stuff so just so we can fit it all within half an hour. Next one is analog, a mild analog delay. So the first one was a clear digital delay. This is a mild analog delay. And the parameter now adjusts the character of the delay sound and adds a sense of distortion. Oh, sense of distortion, all right. taken off let's see if we can make it take off Hours of fun. Crazy dub sounds. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so that's analog. Really nice sounding, like quite dark, and it does mm. definitely add quite a lot of grit. Yeah, yeah. Gets um, that's a nice delay. Okay, next one. Tape delay. Yeah. Uh, sound with the distinctive waiver of a tape. Oh, sorry, with the distinctive waiver of a tape echo unit. Models to Roland RE201. Now, this actually can select this the different heads. So, head number one. Head number two, head number three, then heads one and two, head one and three, head two and three, head one, two and three. And then if you have a little dot after it, it adds some, it's kind of like you're pushing it and it adds some drive mm. to it. So let's just try one delay. Okay. Hang on, let's slow it down a little bit. And let's see what that sounds like with um, without drive and then with drive. So head two is a lot further away. So if we actually with this, so if we go to head one and just turn feedback all the way down, it should just be slap back, shouldn't it? Tap. Still be here. I think the wet dry goes all the way wet, doesn't it? 50-50. I think slap, you need some feedback to make it rockabilly. Alrighty then. Rockabilly or fire. Cool stereo effect. Let's turn the modulation up a little bit more.
quite self oscillate, but that's cool. It's, that's a, that sounds really, really nice, actually. Nice. Okay, next one. Drum. Now, drum models the Binson Echo Rec 2. So, with this now, the parameter. Mm. Oh, again, so uh, one is one head, two is the second head, third head, fourth head, combination one and two, two and three, three and four, one and three, two and four, one, two, three. Mm, and then you have catchy. all, which is all four. And then you have the same with drive. So let's just try to one again. Right. Hang on, let's slow it down a bit. Ace. That's lovely, yeah. So, and that was I turned it then to the mm. one head with um, with drive. So, mm. a little bit of gain actually sounds fantastic. So Let's try all four. It's bonza. Heads three and four now. That's lovely. That sounds really, really cool. I'm sold. The stereo thing is really yeah, cool too, actually. Sweet. Okay, so that's drum. Um, shimmer is the next one. So shimmer. Shimmer is a delay that combines a pitch shifted sound and the parameter knob adjusts the brilliance of the delay sound. So let's have the parameter all the way down, everything else at about 12 o'clock. Un Unbrilliant. And um, go. The angels singing from above. Ah, what are they singing? What's the big song from the angels? Oh, I might be going to see your face again. <laughs> <laughs> nice, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Anyway, um, okay. Aussie, so Aussie rock jokes. Aussie rock jokes, yes. Yeah. So let's try a parameter. Let's see, let's see what else we can do with this. So let's turn feedback up a bit, modulation up a bit. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Just, yeah. We thought we were funny. Yeah, yeah, we always think we're funny. Go and play, play, play. Oh, I was waiting for you to do this. No, no, I'm waiting for you to play. So it almost kind of adds like an extra harmony, like it gets higher. Yeah. So if you, you know, if I start all the way down. Yeah. Lovely, 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 lovely. That sounds very nice. Smooth. Okay, next one. Uh, Terra Echo. Now. Yes. If you want to see something really funny, watch this video. 
So this is one of uh, probably within the first five videos we've ever filmed was the Tereco. Yeah. Highly underrated pedal in my opinion. Highly overrated video. Yeah, well. Um, now, it, I think it was the 100th pedal that Boss has ever released, the Tereco. Like, yeah. It was something like that. And we did a video very early on. It's very dark. Sounds very crappy. Uh, but it's us. Uh, <laughs> we might do like a remake of it. Probably a good idea, yeah. Everyone does remakes of movies nowadays, so why yeah. not do remakes of YouTube videos? Digitally remastered. <laughs> we'll <laughs> Just put our faces on top of it now. Yeah, THX. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the Terraco basically it's part of the boss's multi-dimensional processing thingy dingy dingy, where um, it divides the signal into multiple bits, kind of I guess by frequency, and then affects them slightly differently. Yep. Now the parameter knob in this con this case it controls the amount of distinctive character for the effect sound. So let's start with it all the way down again, okay. and it's very picking dynamic as well. So if you pick harder, it does the sound. So we'll, 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 we'll hear it. We'll start soft. Yes. What are they called? Kalimbas? Yeah, a little bit like that. It sounds a bit like that. Yep. And it kind of slows down. It's cool. Terra Echo is really, really cool. Have you ever um, played Borderlands on PlayStation? Is that how you played? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think I have. Anyway, it's, it's like this kind of graphic novel space game. Uh, and is it all Borderlands? Is it all uh, Terra Echo? It sounds like it, yeah. Okay. It's been a while, but yeah, it reminds me of that. Next one. Pad Echo. Delay sound with a drifting feel. Ooh, let's drift on. And hang on, what does this do? Uh, Drifts. A uh, adjust a sense of attack for the effect sound. Okay, so that's kind of like the first thing again. So let's put everything at roughly 12 o'clock-ish again, and let's go. Ready for this? Okay. <laughs> it's rhetorical. It's like my, my drop, my, my big drop. Is that what they call it? Drop? Sure. When it did a drop mm. in, in techno music? Mm. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Pattern. Ooh. A sound that combines 16 delays. Okie dokie. Mm. And that selects the pattern of delays. Okay. So let's start off with everything at 12 o'clock. Give, give us some pattern y stuff. Delay. 
Next. Spend some time with that. That's cool, yeah. That's definitely, um, again, yeah. ambient sort of mm. soundscapes. Lo-fi. Sure. Now, lo-fi is a fat sound with a sense of distortion. And this does adjust the sense of distortion. Sense of distortion. The sense of distortion. Not, not the actual distortion. But no, the no, it's just how you sense it. The vibe. The vibe. <laughs> Very noisy when you turn the tone up, but I guess it, then it, it because it, it lo-fi's it. So I guess it'd be low low bit rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because okay. if you play, if I turn the tone up, These sounds, cool. sounds get really quite involved and intricate, but still totally usable. Like there's no just totally whack sounds that you couldn't never use. No, absolutely. Even with modulation, all the way up. Yeah. Dual delay. Now for dual delay, this is adjusts the second delay. This is this, this is specified as a proportion percentage relative to the first delay. Hmm. Ah, so you got 100. percent So it's the same as the same delay. Now let's have a look. It's an ambientizer. This, oh, of course. Then we've got ducking delay. So, so ducking means as you play, poultry comes out. <laughs> yeah, ducks. Yeah. Okay. No, it's just it's just so this adjusts uh, the sensitivity of how much of the volume it drops. It ducks the delay. Yeah, Lastly, it. because we're almost out of time, uh, reverse delay. So in reverse, it adjusts the sense of attack for the delay sound again, sure. the parameters. So let's start with it all the way down. And with this, I'm going to presume this is going to be all wet.
<laughs> wow. Wow. Um, so you can do that as well. <laughs> mm, if you seamless. choose to do so. <laughs> so that's the Boss DD200. Hey, really, really quickly. Should we check out what the presets are on this? Oh, if there's any preset presets. Okay. Let's see if there's... Oh, you got to turn it on. Digital delay. Nothing that, quite as creative as, as we've made. No, no, of course not. All right, so uh, that was the Boss DD200 Digital Delay. Mm. Big thank you to Ed and everyone at Boss Roland again. And uh, what should people do while they're on the internet, Alex? Well, there's many things you can do on the internet. Yes, lots. Ma many, many, many sad things. No, uh, um, there's links below to our Instagram and Facebook accounts as well as a podcast. And uh, if you haven't checked out a podcast, please do this. Uh, link tree below link tree link below and once again if you get it like and subscribe on the channel the video thumbs ups always appreciated and um hope you enjoyed the delay let us know if you want us to do a video on any of the specific delay settings specifically in specifics yes or pair it up with any other specific pedal specifically on that note uh thank <laughs> you so much for watching uh, catch gotcha. bye bye See you.